Well, how are you? How y'all doing? Okay, so first and foremost, happy Mother's Day. I hope y'all are having a great Mother's Day. I know I am. I'm celebrating with my babies. I'm doing something that I like to do, which is make videos for y'all. And so today, I'm coming at you with my newest piece. Um, I'm still, I guess technically, you know, I'm always on the fence. I always say that I really like something and then I get it and I don't know, but so we're still in the introductory um, period right now, but this is the Mati Hobo, okay? And so I know you've, I, there are tons of videos um, on YouTube about this bag, so you're not really going to see anything that you probably haven't already seen, but it's new to me. I've never had it. In fact, it's a bag that um, for a long time I thought was super ugly and was like, oh, that thing is ugly. Who would want to carry that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, in my continued quest of trying to find the right bag for the right season or whatever, um, I'm really drawn to this bag because, or I have been really draw, drawn to this bag lately because I feel like it is a true um, weatherproof bag in the monogram print. Uh, well, okay, so with the exception of this little uh, Vachetta tab right here and then the strap, but I love that it has the dual carry option, the two straps, so obviously if it's raining, you can take off this strap and then you're just left with a complete monogram strap. And so this week, um, well, this whole spring in Amarillo has been so rainy, which I know, yay. I mean, especially if you're one of the ranchers in the area, you're going, yes, praise the Lord. But um, mama's getting a little tired of it. It's a little too much, okay? I mean, first of all, it's going to bring a ton, ton of mosquitoes. But anyway, that's not what, you're, that's not what the video is about. So first, let me tell you the measurements. Okay, so it is from this piece, because you can see, all right, so look at the bottom. See how you have like just the, the uh, rectangle piece? So I measured that. So obviously from here to here, that is 12 inches. At the widest point, okay, it, so right here, if you lay it down and you spread it out, it is 18 inches. And then at the top, technically from here to here, it's 12 inches, but measuring from where, the, you know, the space that you have to get into the bag, which is, you know, cause you gotta get past all this stuff. Well, that takes up another inch. So the part that you have to get into is 11 inches. Okay, and then um, 13 inches tall, which is a, is a nice height. I mean, honestly, 14 inches is kind of like my breaking point. That's, that's kind of where I'm like, oh, it's a little too tall. So 13 inches was kind of iffy for me, but it's all right so far. And then the depth, okay, again, if you're just measuring the piece, it's about four and a half. But you can see, you know, if you put it down the flat part, it goes out. So really the depth is not true. It's, if it was a structured bag, then yes, it would be... Um, you know, a true four and a half inches deep, but it's not. I mean, it's got, this is definitely, this is like several bags in one, okay? So it's very hobo-ish, as you can see. It's really squishy. It's not a heavy bag. You would think so with like all this canvas, but it's actually not. Um, I mean, considering, you know, when you're comparing it to, I don't know, let's just say the Artsy. I feel like the Artsy is a heavy bag, empty. This one is not, it's really not that bad, y'all. It's not as heavy as you would think. Um, but it's also got like a backpack look to it because you got this outside pocket. So I'm immediately thinking uh, Mulsary GM backpack or one of those. Um, and by the way, I know I said Matisse Hobo, Matisse Hobo, I don't know. Let me just say, I had someone leave an ugly comment on one of my videos lately or recently about how I mispronounced a bag. Y'all, I don't, I don't get paid for this, okay? I'm not representing to be like an expert on Louis Vuitton or the correct spelling of their bags or whatever. I do this because I like it and it's fun and I feel like some people think it's helpful. So if you don't have anything nice to say, a boo bye okay? Let me just throw that out there. Um, so again, with the dual strap. So right now, I have it on the longest setting. So on the longest setting, it's, or um, adjustment here, it's 13 inches or 13 inch drop. On the shortest setting, it is, okay, I'm sorry, let me back up. I was looking at a different measurement. The longest setting, it's 14 inches. So right now it's 14 inches. And then the shortest setting is 11. Now I, I actually have been um, keeping it on the shortest setting because I do like to just carry it over my shoulder. I'm gonna show you here in just a second how it looks as a crossbody. Um, for me, it, the strap is a little too short for a crossbody. I like for it to be a little bit longer. So I'm actually um, having one of my uh, leather works friends make me a, a strap so it, it's going to be a little bit bigger it's going to be like the strap that's on my mick if you go to my video for my mick mm bag i have a custom strap it's going to be similar to that and so it's that way it's going to be a little bit longer okay now i'll take that back it's actually going to be a little bit shorter but it's thicker and it's got black on one side and it's going to have monogram on the other and so i just really like i do like the strap but i really prefer a wider strap okay so i'm not like i'm not saying that i don't like the strap at all i'm just saying I prefer a longer strap. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. 
So, um, okay, so again, it's tons of canvas. You got this outside pocket. Um, one of the things I can tell you right off the top is that this bag has a ton of organization. And so that is one of the things that I really wasn't looking at before. Like when I first started looking at this bag, I was just kind of super turned off by the look of it. I just thought it was kind of ugly. I didn't really care for the um, seams being on the outside and having the glazing on the outside. I didn't really care for that look at first. And um, I do like that it has feet, which I think is a huge, a huge plus. But I don't know, I just wasn't, um, I think it was the pocket. Initially, it was the pocket that turned me off. Now, I'm going to admit that the pocket has kind of grown on me. Um, it's not a pocket that I need to get into that much. I don't put anything, you know, if the stuff that I need to get to quickly, I just leave it in the bag. I don't really like to get in and out of this pocket, mainly because I don't want to overuse. Like, I'm just kind of paranoid about overusing the, um, uh, what do you call this, an S-lock, the little um, snap. And so I just don't, I don't want to, like, I don't know. It's probably no big deal, but I just don't want to overuse it and then have this flapping thing and I don't want to send it in and get it repaired. So anyway, I just put what I don't need a lot of, you know, or what I don't need to get to a lot in here. And so it's just that traditional, you just squeeze it together. It can be kind of a stinker to, you know, get it back because you have to have, you have to have, have it against something that's hard to like put it in there, but it snaps fine. It's no big deal. So yeah, you just squeeze it. And so I just have, um, Couple of things I don't need to get to here. I'm gonna put everything in here to show you, but first let me just finish. So it's got the dark brown Alcantara lining. The heat stamp patch is in here. And then, okay, so on the inside, it's also the brown, the dark brown, which I do like. I like the dark brown Alcantara better than the light brown, like on the Artsy. I just, I know some people are the opposite because they feel like you can see your stuff inside the bag better. I mean, I guess that's true, but as far as like my preference, I think that the dark brown just looks better. I don't know, I just like it better. So of course you can't see it, it just looks like a black hole in there, and it is. But you've got the two, um, they're equal size like uh, slip pockets over here, and they're kind of like just a traditional square shape. And so you would be able to fit your phone up and down. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. You can fit the phone up and down, and it's going to stick out a little bit, see? You're not going to be able to stick in there side to side. But one of the things that I like that's on the other wall is you have a really long um, zipper. Okay, hang on, let me just do this first. You got a zipper pocket in there, see? And it's really, so it goes the length of the bag, so, well, about 11 inches, and it's actually really deep. So um, I have a Zippy Organizer wallet, and I haven't actually tried to see if it would fit in there. I'm gonna see if it will. Um, yes, so the Zippy Organizer wallet, which um, if you go to my channel, I have a comparison video on the traditional Zippy long wallet and also the Zippy organizer. The organizer is only, oh see now I can't remember, if it's only a half inch wide, wider and a half inch taller, it's either a half inch or a full inch. It's not that much bigger than the traditional Zippy wallet, but you can see if it's in there side to side, it's not squished. See, like I can, you know, I can get it in there without any trouble. And then there's still plenty of room on the top um, you know, so that way you can zip it. It's not like right there close to the zipper. It's just, it's just plenty of room to spare. So, um, all that to say, like, if you are concerned about the fact that the bag does not have a zipper closure or a magnetic closure or any other type of hook or whatever or latch, um, because the bag is tall, to me, that offers security because it's going to be harder for someone to like get into your bag when it's so tall. But if you are concerned about that, then at least you have the one zipper pocket to put your wallet in. I don't put my wallet in there. I'm not concerned about security in my bag. So I like to um, put things that I do need quickly, but kind of like things um, together. So let me show you, let me just show you. So out here I have this little container that has my um, earbuds and like a charger. And I don't need that that often. So I'm gonna, I put that out here. And then I also have my little card case for my overflow cards for like loyalty cards and library cards. And I put that over here on the other side. And those are the only two things that I leave out here in the side pocket. Or on this um, patch pocket. No, it's not a patch pocket. Whatever. Outside pocket. Okay, so then on the inside, um, on the zip pocket, and by the way, the date code um, little tab is in that pocket. And this is a 2014 bag. Oh, let me back up. Another reason why I was hesitant on getting this bag is because, as you probably know, it seems like the Matee family has had a little bit of an issue being recalled because of glazing. And it's my understanding that people who, I guess, have either been in the system already for LV or have a receipt, you know, if they buy it pre-loved and are able to get the receipt, they can go in and get it 
uh, get credit for the bag, whatever. This one is a pre-loved bag. I do not have the original receipt, but it looks like this one's in pretty good shape. There's nothing, in fact, it's perfect. There's nothing going off the glazing, as you can see. It doesn't even feel like the beginning of anything, you know? And I don't know, I, I hear and I've read that it was like a certain batch of bags and I feel like they were earlier than 2014. I could be wrong, so if someone knows any different, feel free to leave me a comment because I'm curious. I mean, I've found so much conflicting information, I don't really know. But um, this bag seemed to be just fine. There wasn't any issues anywhere um, on the glazing, so I felt pretty confident um, getting this bag. But that was, that was one thing I was worried about. Okay, so in the zipper pocket, I've got um, my little tissue holder. I have my hand balm that you've seen me use, my Trader Joe. I have my Burt Bees and my hand sanitizer. And those are the only things that I keep over here in the zipper pocket. On the slip pockets, I have my cards that I hand out to people, my LV, uh, you know, my LV cards, and then my gum. And I put that on, on in one pocket. And on the other pocket, I use it for my uh, phone and my keys. There is not, let's see, make sure, there's not a D-ring. Uh, so there's definitely nothing for my keys but like I said I've just been throwing them in that slip pocket and it's fine and um, so I have my zippy organizer wallet like I showed you it's a little bit bigger than the traditional zippy and then I normally you know you guys you've always seen me using my accessory pochette so I have my accessory pochette and then you know I have the mid-size pochette that I always talk about well I actually downsized it a little bit to something because I was worried that there wasn't going to be enough room in this bag so I downsized here's the, the mid-size so I don't use this one I actually bought this, which this little, um, what do you call it, pouch comes with that Randoni sling. And so I actually got this. I wanted it because it was more of an envelope style, a little bit thinner. And everything that I had in my mid-size pochette fits in this. So I just put that in here. And then because it's been raining and I wasn't using, today it's not raining and it wasn't raining yesterday, so I put this uh, strap back on. But before that, I have this little bag that I got obviously in New York City. And I just put, when I'm not using the Vachetta strap, or I'm sorry, if it's raining and I don't wanna use it, then I take it off and I just stick it in here. Um, and I can tell there's some color transfer. You can't tell on the video, but um, because it's dark brown, it seems like there's a lot of brown fuzzies on here, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. And then, of course, my pin case. And so that's just the stuff I normally carry. And, you know, like I told you, this bag is several silhouettes in one, okay? So it's like, on this chair. I have all my dance go shoes, so uh, they're kind of bonky, as my kids say. I gotta be careful. Okay, so it's several silhouettes in one. Because first, you've got your arm carry, so it's kind of like satchel ish, okay? It can be a shoulder carry, um, which, you know, just a regular traditional shoulder bag. It's also very hobo ish because it's so squishy. So you can see it's not structured at all. And so I do like that it's, you know, kind of slouchy. But it's hobo-ish with feet, which is another thing I really like. And then of course you've got, so you've got the short, the short shoulder carry, okay, option. And then you also have the long shoulder option right here. Now, if you have it right here, you have you don't have any trouble getting stuff in and out of your back, okay? If you're using this strap, um, it's harder, you can't really get into it from your shoulder. You've probably seen this in, in several videos, because I've seen this myself. You can't actually get into it from your shoulder. If you're using this, the Vachetta strap, you have to actually put, bring it down to your elbow or you just have to set it down. So that's the only thing. Okay, so I told you I have the strap on the longest setting. I'm just gonna show you, like, you can, if you have a long enough strap and, or you're a petite person, um, shorter person, or you don't mind how um, high the bag sits, or if you're in a pinch and you need it to be hands-free, you can use it, this strap, on the longest setting as crossbody. I don't like the way this sits, it's too, it's too high, but if I needed to, you know, if I just needed my hands, I could definitely, in a pinch, throw it over. So, just wanted to show you that. Um, okay, the video is getting too long, and it's, it won't upload if I get it this long. So anyway, I just wanna show you this, Mati Hobo, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day, Mother's Day, Mother's Day and I'll be talking to you real soon. Okay, bye.